as you are aware, Southern Africa is facing adverse um, escalating and frequent uh, uh, climate impacts, including cyclones, droughts, and flood, floods that we all know, um, which are uh, uh, disrupting livelihoods and intensifying food insecurity, unemployment, inequalities, and poverty. Uh, these phenomena are quite uh, frequent, uh, reoccurring e events, and, and just to mention a few, a lot of us would recall Cyclone Idai, uh, Cyclone Kenneth and Freddy in Mozambique, Malawi, and Zimbabwe, uh, but also persistent droughts in Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Malawi that we are actually facing right now, which underscores the urgent need for climate resilient solutions. Uh, the reasons for the energy deficits uh, behind these deficits are multifaceted. First, it is the continued reliance on fossil fuels like coal and other fuels in our electricity generation, uh, which continue to exacerbate the impacts of climate change. And we see uh, a lot of our countries still that they're yet you know, to fully uh, diversify. We have countries like South Africa, for example, uh, a bit Mozambique, Botswana, and a few others, and Zimbabwe, uh, that you see in their energy mix that you know high percentage of coal uh, in them as well as other fuels. So there is that as one component. Um, the other component is is also that our energy infrastructure in the region is also heavily dependent on hydropower, um, and and a case in point here would be Zambia, and they have 83 percent of their uh, uh, energy from hydropower, which in, you know, without the climate change, uh, changes that we're seeing is actually good and a renewable energy, but at the same time, you will see that it exposes uh, the country and, and a few other countries that are highly dependent on hydropower uh, to climate change fluctuations. So countries like Zambia, Angola, Lesotho, and to some degree Mozambique, uh, just to name a few, um, uh, have been really crit critically impacted by the prolonged droughts uh, conditions, especially in instances where energy sources are not adequately, adequately diversified, which leaves the region, not just the country, but I think the region as a whole, vulnerable to climate change uh, fluctuations. To combat these challenges, we must do two things. One is to transition from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources, um, and the second is to diversify our energy mix in a balanced manner in order to increase our resilience as a region. This transition is, is not just an environmental imperative, it is essential to social equity, but also economic resilience. This, I believe, can be done. Southern Africa is really rich in renewable energy resources with abandoned solar wind and hydropower capabilities that largely remain untapped. The subregion is also home to critical minerals, which we are calling green minerals uh, now, that are actually sought after by the rest of the world for clean energy solutions, but also to support decarbonization agenda. By embracing these resources, we can significantly enhance our energy security and catalyze economic growth. Today, uh, we face an urgent climate uh, change crisis that demands our immediate attention. Southern Africa must not only honor its commitments to the Paris uh, Agreement and Agenda 2063, uh, but also it needs to transform its energy landscape. This presents us with a critical balancing act. One, on one hand, pursuing our industrialization agenda and economic growth, while transitioning to clean and renewable energy sources in a way that uplifts our most vulnerable communities and, and addresses persistent inequalities that continue uh, to cripple us.